Apple makes it pretty straightforward when it comes to transferring data like your music from your computer to something like an iPhone, iPad, or iPod. But what do you do when you need to transfer things in the opposite direction? Hey folks, David A. Cox here with Tech Talk America, and my channel is all about teaching people how to better use the technology at their fingertips. So if you have a Mac, iPhone, or iPad, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Today's class was inspired by a note that I received from a fan by the name of Jim McGuire, and in his note, Jim mentioned that his laptop was recently stolen, which contained a massive collection of music that he no longer had access to. Now, thankfully, Jim did have the majority of that music on an old iPod, but the problem here is that Apple doesn't allow you to transfer data from an iDevice to a computer. Now, fortunately, the third-party software that I'm going to teach you how to use today will do that. It'll even allow you to transfer other things like photos, text message conversations, voicemails, and more. The name of the software is called iMazing. It works for both Mac and Windows. We always love when that's the case. And if you'd like to check it out, there's a link to it down below in the description of the video. You can even save 20% through my link. How to transfer data from your iDevice to your computer, coming up next on Tech Talk America. I have seen this software save the day in so many different types of situations. For example, I have clients who have lost loved ones and just want to be able to save the last voicemail that they received from that person that they lost. I've also had other clients who have been involved in lawsuits who need to export text message conversations as a transcript in order to present in court as evidence. Whatever it is, if you need to transfer data from your iDevice to your computer, this software will do it. And to show you how to use iMazing, let's now switch to my Mac. After you've downloaded and installed iMazing, just plug in your iPhone, iPad, or iPod to your computer. As I mentioned earlier, this software runs on both Mac and Windows, and even though I'm teaching this class from my Mac, it's pretty much identical on both platforms. Depending on what type of data you want to retrieve, you may be prompted to start by creating a local backup file of your device. This applies if you want to access text message conversations, WhatsApp conversations, phone records, voicemails, Safari history, calendar data, contacts, or notes. That being said, if you're only interested in extracting photos, music, ringtones, apps, voice memos, or if you want to use their file transfer system, you can skip the backup process and access those files directly. You should be aware that if you do need to create a backup, that file is going to be very significant in size. So what you may want to do is if you don't have a lot of free space locally, iMazing does allow you to change the default save location to something like an external hard drive. While we're on the screen, I should also point out that certain types of data like web browser history do require encryption, so you might want to enable that feature. I also wanted to let you know that if you have to go through that backup process, be prepared to wait. For me, it took around an hour. So let's fast forward to the next step. I want to go through these categories one by one, and forgive me, but I am going to go a little bit out of order, starting with text message and WhatsApp conversations. As I referenced earlier, the settings that you have access to here in iMazing make it perfect if you need to prove something in court. In the case of both text message and WhatsApp conversations, you can choose to include date and timestamps for every message by clicking this option here at the top. And then, if we go to the bottom right, this is where you'll find all of your options to export the conversation as either a PDF, CSV, Excel, or a plain text file. If there are attachments that you need to preserve, you can also use this option right here to isolate that data. When it comes to music, iMazing makes it super easy to export songs to either a folder or into something like iTunes or the new music app. By the way, I'm recording this video one day before Mac OS Catalina comes out, and that is the reason why you won't see the new music app. This next feature might sound a little cheesy to some of you, but I happen to think it's pretty cool. If you want to add a custom ringtone to your iPhone, with iMazing, you'll never need to buy one through the App Store again. Just drag and drop any of these file formats into this section, and then navigate to Sound and Haptics on your iPhone, and you'll see them all appear. You can also use any of these sounds for other audio notifications, for example, when you receive a new message, alarms, reminders, etc. If you have a book or PDF that you want to get in or out of the Books app, once again, you can do it right through here. I have my doubts if many of you will be using this next feature to extract photos, only because there are plenty of other apps that come with your computer that you can use to do the same thing. So let's skip this part. 
In terms of Safari data, the most common use for this is once again to prove something in court. Using iMazing, you can export and print data like web browser history, bookmarks, and reading list data. In this next option, we can export call logs to something like an Excel document or a CSV file. That information contains things like phone numbers, call duration, and status. So, for example, missed calls, declined, etc. If we go here into voicemail, you can easily extract voicemails and export them as an audio file that you can save to your computer. As I said in my intro, this is a really great feature if you've lost someone that you love and you want to hold on to their voice. The contacts feature is great for creating a backup of your contacts, but more than anything, it makes it really easy to merge contacts if you have them synced through multiple services. So for example, let's say you have some contacts that are located in Gmail and others that are in iCloud. iMazing makes it really easy to merge them into one location. The file management tool is used for moving data in or out of other apps. So let's say, for example, you have a video that you want to be able to access on your iPhone or iPad. A very popular player is VLC, and using this tool, you can very easily move files in or out of VLC. If this video helped you, you can help me out by hitting that little thumbs up, like button down below, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure you hit that little bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.